and whenever you are ready. Um, um, well, I'm, I'm out here because I believe that everyone in our city should have access to mental health treatment. Um, they shouldn't have to wait months and months to get an appointment. And what we know is happening here at Kaiser, which is a nonprofit healthcare provider, is that they are not providing the level of patient care that everyone here deserves. Um, frontline workers are telling us that patients are having to wait months to get an appointment. Uh, young people, children who have severe needs and, and, and disorders that need to get treatment immediately are having to wait or are having to be served in group settings instead of one-on-one. -on -one. Um, this is an, an urgent situation. It's also a, a life or death situation for so many people in our community as to whether they get access to mental health treatment. And I just, I'm here because I want to support not just our, our workers who are doing incredible uh, jobs to serve some of our the neediest people in our community, but also our patients who deserve to have access to care. State and federal law says they need to have access to mental health care, and yet Kaiser is not doing that, not providing the basic level of staffing that is needed for these patients to get the care they deserve. So um, I'm concerned as a supervisor, I'm concerned as a former school board member who saw the impact when young people came into our schools not having had attention to their mental health needs, what that did for their emotional well-being, their social well-being, their academic well-being. And in some cases, it led to them hurting themselves. And so we can get ahead of this by being preventative, by serving all of our kids, by serving all of our residents. And um, I just am grateful for uh, the frontline workers here at Kaiser for standing up and telling the truth and having the courage to say our patients deserve better.